Gregory Watchers, I welcome to our film review tonight. Tonight I'm watching The Return of House of Haunted Hill, the sequel to the 1999. Um, to be a horror classic, of course. It's not a perfect movie. But, um, so, House, okay, Return of House of Haunted Hill is a two, 2000 American horror film and the sequel to the 1994 House of Haunted Hill, directed by Victor Garcia, written by William Massa. Um, the film follows Ariel Wolf, a younger sister of Sarah Wolf, from the first film, a character from the previous film, forced by a group, forced by a group of people to search for a mysterious idol hidden inside an abandoned haunted psychiatric asylum. Starring Amanda Rigg, Hattie. she's gorgeous, but she's the girl. She's she you know seen her wet and stuff, and oh man, she's beautiful. Serena Vincent, or Eric. Paladino, Tom Riley, Andrew Lee Potts, Jack B. Combs. He's a returning character from the first film. Um, company Dark Castle Home Entertainment, Warner Brothers, released 2007. Running time 79 minutes or 81 minutes, unrated. Um, now, this is great. This is When you watch it, you can actually choose your own path, which what. what you can choose your own options in it, which I love. I love that idea. So, so it's released a straight to video in October this week. Yes, yeah, it's not a bad movie for a straight to DVD film. Not bad. Okay, Ava Wolf is the sister of Sarah Wolf, a survivor of a birthday event eight years ago in the Vanicut Psychiatric Institute for the Criminally Insane, which at the time has been first abandoned and later converted into a private residence, but has since being abandoned yet. Yes, again, I wonder why. In the 1930s, Sandy was overseen by the sadistic psychiatric, uh, just psychiatrist Dr. Richard B. Ranicourt. Sarah claims that the ghost of the house residents killed the party guests and later commit suicide. And later commit suicide. Era and her friend Paul are kidnapped by art dealer Desmond Niles. Era realizes that Sarah didn't commit suicide. Desmond killed her. Desmond forces Eero to help him find an artifact located in the old Vanicut Psychiatric Institute, a figurine of demon Baphomet inside the building. They encounter Dr. Richard Hammer and his assistant Karen Michelle. Eero explains that the building has been rigged to keep everyone inside for at least 12 hours. The group splits up, splits up to Search for the idol. Desmond's henchmen are killed by the inmate ghost, having vision of the patients. They are suffering the same deaths as them. A group of shook. A ghost shows. A ghost shows Arrow the depravity and the inmates suffered under Doctor Vanicut. Vanicut. These images reveal that Vanicut was driven mad by the idol and, perf and performed experiments on the mentally ill. The inmates. The inmates led a revolt against Vanicourt during the, which the sanitarian burned down. The audience are shown footage from the 1999 House of Haunted Hill. The deaths of the previous homes were assumed by caused by the ghost, but now it is shown that the dead are actually forced by the idol to do Vanicourt's bidding and did not willingly kill. Okay, all of the 12 hours are up, the master locking mechanism begins to lock the house down again. Aero escapes but discovers that Paul enters the house to look for, look for her and goes back inside. Convinced Michelle wants to add her for himself, Desmond attempts to kill her. Michelle, however, killed by the, Michelle, however, is killed by the Vanicourt. The rest of the, the rest of the group, the rest of the group discover a way out of the system but are locked by the iron boss. The ghosts of inmates show Eero that the idol is in the asylum's basement crematorium. So I won't read that a lot. Um, this film's great. This film is great because it's not perfect. It's not like one of the greatest horror films ever made. But the thing about this film, you can choose your own path. Um, it says on the back of the controls, it says you control the nightmare, state of the art, navigational cinema lets you decide which characters live or die. This is great because you can actually. Choose a certain option. For instance, like if a character goes in a certain um, room, they either say yes or no. If they can have die or live, um, stuff like that. There's a, there actually is a hot scene in this movie with the, the woman in it. But there's a scene where she goes into this like 
room man these women start turning he's really quite you know attractive women turn up and they're like trying to seduce her so you have a choice to so you have a choice to leave you know resist or stay now my option my option is always stay always stay when two really attractive women you know, want to seduce you um uh, so anyway they end up at you know so they're not at the house right and the house looks to sit you know it's, it's the same house from the first one and of course there's a bit more cgi in this like you know where you actually see the outside of the house and stuff and i do like the look of the house actually it's pretty cool it's creepy so anyway they get locked in the house of course certain characters there's a guy from there's a, there's a guy in it here who's on actually in eastenders is in this and he gets killed he gets he goes he's like looking for the war rise that's something out of one and he goes right close to the war rise and he grabs him and pulls you know pulls his you know stuff out his, from his guts out and stuff like that and that's it was pretty brutal um, so he does a very last on this phone and of course one of the characters he's outside and he gets a, like a He's with this other guy, the main, you know, he's, he's, you know, he's taking, you know, like his girlfriend, his, his boy, the girl's boyfriend, uh, kind of, the kind of girlfriend, boyfriend kind of thing. He's, at, in, he's in the car and he's talking to some guy, the, and it's Jeff, you can tell it's Jeffrey Combs' voice. And then next week, you hear the main villain's voice on the um, radio say that come into the house because we're all in the house right now. Of course, this, it's just a ploy to get them all in the house altogether. Um, Jeffrey Grimes, Grimes is fantastic. You know, he's great in this. He's, you know, plays the same role in this psychotic killer, of course. Took about, about nine, eight years later after the first film. Um, the house itself looks just the same. You know, the place where the first meet up in the first film. That place looks the same. The glass and everything. And the, um, but then you see more parts. You, you see more parts of the house after it. More of the house, um, which is cool. And the film itself is great. I mean, it's not perfect. It's one of those movies that's not the way awards, but I do like the fact you can choose your own path. I do like that. You don't see much in these um, Blu-rays. They did it on Final Destination 3, I think it was. We can choose your own path, which I like. Not on the Blu-ray there, which is odd, but it's definitely worth a watch, this was. Um, I'm not sure I read this film, isn't it? Because I've never... You don't see, you know, it's, you don't see many film, um, Blu-rays. You don't see a lot where you can choose your own path, which I think is... That should be the future of movies. On Blu-ray, it should be like, choose your own path and stuff. That would be great. Um, there's one part where it has a bad ending. I, ch I actually changed the option because it had like a really, really bad ending to it. And I thought, so yeah, it gives you a choice to... Because right then, it gives you a choice to change to the, your decision you made on the option. And it, and it has a better ending to it. It's good. It's really good. Yeah, so what happens, I did, so it happened to one of the villains in the movie. You can have a choice to go into go into a room or don't go into a room. I decided, yeah, go into the room. It's what happens to his character in the in the film, and yeah, the film was good. Especially the last part, they have to find that art. You know, that, that's like this thing of that control that controls people. Like, that makes them evil. Um, it's like a possession thing, but and they have to somehow get out of the house or somehow there's no way to move it or destroy it. Whatever, so they decided to drop it into this like sewer thing. And of course, Jeffrey Combs trying to stop him, of course, his character. Um, but yeah, it's a good movie. It's got some creepy-ass creepy, uh, creepy -ass moments, violent moments in it, but it's a fun movie. I do, I do enjoy the, the scene with the woman in it who gets seduced by the female ghost in it. And yeah, it's, it's a good scene. I was sitting there going, oh, you can never get bored of that scene. It's hot. Um, so yeah, it's a really good film. It's not, it's not perfect, but it's a good film. It's got some good death scenes. I like the character. And then Jeffrey Combs is... Combs is great. The main villain himself, he's he's very unlikable. There's a funny character in this. He's, he, he makes me laugh because he's walking with him and he starts saying, Oh, you're that guy, aren't you? Yeah, so he starts like, you know. And it, the, the, the guy who's, you know, whatever. So uh, it's a good scene. Um, of course, the other guy gets ripped. He gets like ripped to pieces. One character gets ripped to, you know, stretch line. You know, it's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, it's not perfect, but you know, it's a good film. And um, there's a creepy nurse in there, she was freaky as hell. Uh, there, down there, uh, so yeah, it's got a little creepy atmosphere. It's got some not bad acting, actually. Not the, got a lot of good characters. I like the characters, they're not, they're not unlikable. Maybe the main villains are unlikable, but but yeah, so yeah, anyway, so they have to escape, of course. They have to find this thing at the same time, so difficult, yeah, so yeah, awesome. Um, so the very, so, okay, what I didn't like about it, um. 
a bit short. Maybe it's a bit short. Maybe I don't know. Not sure what exactly. It doesn't really have a big enough because the first one like Alan Larter and stuff and but I don't really you know but this film doesn't really have bigger stars in it compared to the first film. Apart from Jeffy Combs, of course, he's great. Um, but yeah. Nothing really, no, no, no issues with it. The, the characters are good, the actors are good, and the acting's decent. And uh, so, yeah, good death scenes, good af- some good good effects too for a straight to DVD film. Uh, so, yeah, so apart from that, what I liked about it, um, I like the characters and, and a good ending to it. Like I said, you, I like, and I like the fact that you can choose your own path in the film in the, in the the film itself. So, it puts you in the film, so you kind of go, oh, you know, I'll choose that path. Yes or no kind of situation. Uh, so yeah, I love it. So I like the old decision decisions you make. So it should do that in every film. Every film they should make make a decision. Be awesome. So the main one to give this film is a four out of five. Really enjoy it. So four out of five for House: The Return of House of Haunted Hill. Definitely worth watch. If you like a good horror film, supernatural. And uh, so if you want to go off and have a bit, then subscribe to my channel. Yes or no? I'm going to go off and have a bit. I'm going to have a day and a tweet. Take a look at yourself and enjoy my videos. And thank you for watching. Thank you very much.